Today I want to talk to you about your mission president. Your mission president uh, will have great influence for good um, on you uh, in your mission. You're going to grow to love and respect him. Uh, so there's a few things you should know about your mission president. He serves along with his wife for three years. Uh, so depending on how your mission overlaps with the mission president, you may have one uh, mission president or you may have two, uh, as was the case with me. Uh, the mission president is responsible for the physical and spiritual well-being of all the missionaries in the mission. Uh, and he has a lot of other duties as well. The mission president welcomes and uh, orients all the new missionaries. Uh, he'll interview, uh, give the exit interview for departing missionaries. Um, the mission president assigns companionships and assigns areas. Uh, he travels to zone conferences to train missionaries and to do additional interviews um, and uh, a lot of other things. Um, a lot of people don't uh, realize, I certainly didn't, uh, how much you would uh, grow to love and respect your mission president. Um, Elder Quentin L. Cook of the Quorum of the Twelve said that it's one of the greatest blessings of being a missionary is to um, uh, be able to work with and grow and learn from a mission president who was called of God. Um, I'd like to tell you about my first uh, couple of meetings with my mission president uh, in Argentina. Uh, when, when we got to the country, we were taken right to the mission home where we had an orientation session with the mission president and his wife. Uh, and then we had a one-on-one -on -one interview, each of the new missionaries did, with um, the mission president, President Coburn, uh, was, was my mission president's name. Uh, he told me some things that stuck with me in that interview, that uh, he felt uh, really inspired to put me with my companion, who was Elder Lessner, and uh, also felt very inspired uh, with regard to the area where I was assigned to work, and that was a city called Panana. So uh, it was about a month later before I saw the mission president again. It was at a zone conference. Um, and of course, I had an interview, uh, as is always the case, along with zone conferences. So um, during the, my first month in the mission, I had some disagreements with my uh, senior companion. And I had mentioned that in my letters to uh, the mission president. And I assume my, my companion did as well. When uh, I got into the interview with President Coburn, he um, bajo la caña is what they say in Argentina. He dropped the hammer on me. He told me I needed to repent and um, to uh, swallow my pride and to do uh, better at following my senior companion who was essentially my priesthood leader. Uh, I walked away from that interview <clears throat> basically fuming inside. I'd never been uh, treated that way uh, by, by a priesthood leader. And uh, it took me a few days, maybe a week, before I realized that President Coburn was completely right. I did need to repent. I did need to uh, humble myself and work uh, better with my companion. Uh, and as I, I tried to follow uh, my mission president's advice, um, the, the missionary work did improve in our area. Um, I'll, I'll be forever grateful for uh, President Coburn uh, and the things he taught me. So um, I, I would just encourage you to... Um, be humble, learn from your mission president. You're going to have a great experience with him. Uh, write good letters to your mission president every week. Let him know how the missionary work is going, how your companionship uh, is, is going, uh, and, and share with him any other details that, that would be uh, relevant. And by so doing, your mission president is going to be better able to help you become the best missionary that you can be.